what a wisdomless prayer. And now, there are many people suffering in the world. I pray world peace and people will find true happiness. So today's word of wisdom is, do not be bound by a limited, pessimistic self-image from the world of future. So this is Master's book, World of Future. I quote some word from this book. On page 18, he says like this, Despite the fact that humans by nature possess amazing strengths, they allow themselves to be bound by physical material limitation, thereby preventing themselves from exercising their true strengths. Many of you may also be putting yourself under rebus hypo hypnosis by saying, there is a limit to my ability. There is no way I can do this. And so you live without being able to release your true power. Thank you, Master. So, we have a true power, a great power within ourselves, but we cannot release our true power. And the Master teaches us in this book, there are two reasons we cannot use our great power. One, one reason is the negative and the pessimistic word that was told by your parents and the siblings in your childhood. And the second reason is your memory of which you may not have been appreciated enough by your teacher and classmate at school. So those memory makes you to limit yourself. But once you awaken to your true self, a far greater power and strength will well up within yourself. So what is your true self? Uh, there is a God, the Creator, who have, have created this world, who have created the great universe and all human souls. So the essence of human is a light that split from the God. So we human are actually a part of God. We all were born on this earth to train our soul in the flesh. But only thing that we can take it back with you to heaven is your mind, your thought. So our essence is our mind, and also we are religion, so we have faith. So faith means to become one with origin, original energy. And once you to become one with original energy, God energy, you will be given the infinite power. So what prevent you from releasing your true power is your fear, your fear. So it's crucial to find your fear within yourself and pick it up and throw it away. The master always teaches us there is a, where there is a cause, there will be an effect. So there is cause and effect. And in this master's book, Think big, he teaches like this on page 24. Our philosophy are like seed, the types of flowers that will blossom and the kind of fruits that will grow depend on the seed you sow. Our philosophy have tremendous power to create something concrete and real. They're not just abstract concepts. Since, you, since our philosophy become actualized over time, you can tell what kind of person you are by checking your philosophy. 
So the cause is your philosophy, your mind, your thought. So once you could change your thought into more positive and constructive way, you will be able to create the bright future. You can construct your destiny by yourself. So lastly, I want to quote some word, master's word from this book, Laws of Future. On page 32, I quote, Fight hard for the sake of the future. You must wish I will open up a new future, not only for my own sake, but for God's sake, for Buddha's sake, for the sake of my fellow human with Buddha nature, for the sake of the future of humankind, and for the sake of the world. The road to victory is open before you. Walk straight along this great road, Walk straight along this road of light with all your might and go as far as it lead. You will surely be victorious in life. Thank you, Master. So now let's move on to Happy Science Prayer. Lord Elkantare, Master Ryuho Okawa, thank you very much for giving us your great light every day. We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we will recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and prayer to the guardian and the guiding spirit. The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. There is a prism of Buddha. There appears the seven colors of rainbow, arching over in a sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other. And there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is a land of love or the land of mercy. This is a land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is a land of souls rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers, the spirits are immortal forces, the spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirit. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of life. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If it were not for your boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock, and you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true word. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to punt in a stream. Then you can change your course. The true word means the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true word and Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. 
this gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or to put it another way, the fruit of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now one forever. The guiding hand has ready weighed. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by, yet still your mistakes will be kept in your mind. That is the reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other, and it's time to forgive each other. This is eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distress in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia, shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas, believing that the light has reality, believing that love has reality, believing that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in two with Buddha's word. Here we vow to do so. Prayer to the Lord Our Lord El Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love, Earth. Protect us from all evil and open the future for us. O Lord, Thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our heart. Prayer to a guardian and a guiding spirit. My guardian and a guiding spirit, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of light, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and a shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks.
All right. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day.